Welcome to a brand new video. So yes, and see by taste ties and thumbnail, we are back with another Premier League prediction. That's right, your boy today is predicting Premier League game week 23. So yes, then, as I film this right now, the transfer window closes tonight. Thursday night, the transfer window closes, and there's been a lot of activity in the past few days. So yes, then, I'll break down each side, each side's last game, all the updated news, and also I'll give my prediction at the end of that. Conversation. So yes, the lots of video hit the like button. Subscribe not ready. Without further ado, let's get straight to the Premier League game week 23. First up, we have Everton versus Tottenham. Everton drew 0-0 to Fulham midweek. You know what? Overall, good point. But a certain team below them won, which means that sees Everton sit in 18th place. That is right, man. Everton are in the relegation zone. <laughs> so, can Everton survive this season? Seeing, seeing a team like Everton getting relegated to the Championship will be a hell of a shock. But I'm all for it, guys, because they relegated my boys, Leicester City. In terms of signing, though, obviously the transfer window closes tonight and there's been no activity. I think that is down to the fact, obviously, they've been, you know, they've been charged, deducted points. So Everton need to be careful on their finances and that is why they've not signed anyone this transfer window. Spurs guys beat Brentford 3-2. They now sit fourth place in the table. A top four finish would be great for a side like Spurs. I tell you what though, Richardson has turned his Tottenham Hotspur career around in that he has scored in three consecutive games. So you know what, Richardson he is in a bit of form right now. Richardson had a bit of time off due to his mental health recently and I think that has helped him along the way. So you know what, fair play. Also, James Madison is back from injury and that is a big, big boost because now at Spurs can now have a fantastic second half to the season. So tonight alone, guys, I do have this game to go down as a Spurs win. That is why I've got Spurs to beat Everton 2 Nil. Next up we have Brighton versus Crystal Palace. Brighton got their pants pulled down by a very impressive Luton side. That is right, Brighton lost 4-0 to Luton Town midweek. But listen to this, okay? Brighton have only won three games in their last 16 Premier League games. Not great, not great at all. But somehow after all that, they are still fighting for a top seven finish. They currently sit in eighth place. Crystal Palace, on the other hand, beat Sheffield 3-2. A very good win for them. They now move two places up to 14th in the Premier League table. The two main stars, Eze and Elise, were both on the score sheet. And oh boy, what goals they were as well. Fantastic, fantastic goals, man. This transfer window has been a very average one for Crystal Palace because they've signed Daniel Munez, okay, from Ghent for £6.6 .6 million. Pounds. It's a, um, a right back, I think, is. So, you know what? And now they have signed Adam Wharton from Blackburn for a massive £22 million. Pounds. Centre midfielder. You know what? Crystal Palace have a massive injury hit squad, okay? And getting two signs in just before the transfer window closes is a very, very good business, okay? But that, say, that Wharton is 19 years old and he's worth £22 million, pounds, so he's got a very bright future. We'll see what happens with him. So, just not alone, the way Brighton are right now, Palace win against Sheffield will give them some massive confidence boost. So that's why I've gone for a draw, guy. I've got that's why I've got Brighton versus Palace to end as a one all draw. Next up, we have Burnley versus Fulham. Burnley lost 3-1 to Man City, Pep versus company, okay? You know what? I don't really have much to say about Burnley, okay? Apart from the fact time is running out and games are running out. They sit, they sit a massive seven points in the drop zone, you know, and uh, but they could get a result against a Fulham side, but uh, you know what? Burnley, man, it's looking more and more likely that they are relegated. Fulham, on the other hand, drew 0-0 to Everton. Again, quite a decent point for them. Fulham on our side sitting in 12th place in the table, nearly mid-table. They are currently right now seven points from them 
to seventh place. So, can Fulham push on and get a top seven finish? You know what? That'd be a massive achievement. Obviously, Fulham are established Premier League stars, so that's why I've gone for a Fulham win. I've gone for a Fulham 1 0 win against Burnley. Next up, we have Newcastle versus Luton. Newcastle beat. Aston Villa 3-1, a very impressive win for them. That now puts them in 7th place and all of a sudden their season is looking much, much better. Good news for you Newcastle fans though, Lewis Smiley, a, 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 a young 17 year old prospect has signed a new long term deal of care and that is big, big news because I've watched him this season a few times and he looks, you know, he looks one for the future so you know what the You've tied him down to a massive long contract and you know what, we can just see him build and build I guess and we'll see what happens with him. But yeah, you know what, he's a very good player. But bad news for you Newcastle fans though, Isaac is set to have a long injury um, absence okay, due to injury. So uh, that only leaves one fit striker and that is Callum Wilson who is unsettled at Newcastle. Luton on the other hand, we a fantastic 4-0 win against a very good Brighton side. That win puts them at relegation zone and by one point, okay? So they are literally, they are literally, it's all in their hands right now. They can survive this season and I'm praying they survive this season. Say, so, I do hope they send Everton to the Championship because uh, I, might be, say, I might be a bit bitter about this still, but they relegated my boys Leicester to the Championship and uh, you know what? I'm still not over it. But, I hope Luton can do it for us. <laughs> Newcastle have been hit and miss this season and Luton will, will have a massive boost from that 4-0 win. So that's why I've gone for a very interesting draw, guys. I've gone for, that's right. That is right, man. I've gone for Newcastle versus Luton to end as a 1-0 draw. Next up, we have Sheffield United versus Aston Villa. Sheffield lost 3-2 to Crystal Palace midweek. Just like Burnley, guys, said to you earlier, Time and games are running out, okay, and uh, it's looking more and more likely Sheffield are relegated. They are massive, nine points in the drop zone, guys. So uh, every game they lose now is one game less to survive, okay. And uh, you know what? Nine game, nine points are, is a massive, di you know, is a massive gap, and uh, they need to. Find you know find some points because if they keep losing, then unfortunately it's going to be a quick end to the season. <laughs> well, here's a stat for you: they've only won two games after 22 matches this season. Okay, and that just says it all about their season. Okay, they've only got 10 points, and uh, I don't know what happened, Sheffield. I think it's bad times. You know, you know, I can't see them surviving. But we should find out what happens. Let me know in the comments. Do you think Sheffield will survive? Let me know, man. Let me know. Bill, on the other hand, lost 3-1 to Newcastle, okay? <laughs> they still have a high chance of getting a top four finish this season, but they can't lose games like this, especially when teams behind them, you know, are beating them. So, you know what? Villa need to find ways now to win this game. Because this game is important to win. Good news for you, Villa fans, though. You have just signed Morgan uh, Rogers from... Middlesbrough, okay. I've watched him this season, obviously due to Leicester being in the championship. I've seen him this season and he looks a very good player and he will 100% strengthen your side up, okay. And he's, uh, apparently, um, Emre said he's got a massive part to play in this season. So we'll see what happens with him. But yeah, you know what, £22 million, pounds, it's quite hefty, but you know what, it should do all right. So I think Villa will bounce back this week, guys, and that's why I've got Villa to beat Sheffield a very comfortable 2 Nil. So next up we have Bournemouth versus Nottingham Forest, okay? So Bournemouth guys are playing tonight, so I can't really give you much details on where they are, but as of now, they are sit in 12th place, okay? And just like Fulham, just like Fulham guys, they're only seven points away from a top seven finish. Can Bournemouth do that? You know what? I'm really hoping they can because uh, you know what? They've really done well this season, but they are on a two game losing streak but they have a great chance to win this game. Forest lost 2-1 to Arsenal midweek. They are only now two points above the relegation zone. Forest are also now fighting for Premier League survival. You know what there's a few teams 
this year that are fighting for that survival spot. You know what? It could be a very exciting end to the season. This transfer window, first have signed a fantastic player, guys. It is Gio Reyna, okay? He's from Brisha Dormund, okay? On the loan. He's a uh, USA international, okay? A top, top player indeed. And he will 100% strengthen that side. But I do have Bournemouth guys to win this game, that is why I do have Bournemouth to beat Forest 2-1. Next up we have Chelsea versus Wolves. Chelsea lost 4-1 to Liverpool mid-week, okay? Honestly guys, I've watched Chelsea and they lack a massive connection and communication barrier, okay? And that is a big part of the football game, okay? And you know what, I think it's like I say, it's just down to all the signers, okay? They've got a lot of work to do if they want to get to where they were, you know, years ago. But uh, you know what? It's not looking good, it's not looking good. Good news is though, your summer signing from last season and Kunku is back fit and ready to go. So you know what? He'll be a massive boost because he's a very, very good player, okay? And they've missed someone like his outlet who can like, you know, cause chaos in games. They sit in 10th place, okay? They can still get a top seven finish but they need to start winning these games. They're up against Wolves, okay, guys. Wolves are playing tonight against Man United, okay. Right now, they're sitting in 11th place, two points behind Chelsea. So, Wolves will want to win this game against Man United tonight and also this game. So, you know what? In their last five games, they have played five, won four, and drew one. So, they're in a bit of form right now, okay. And... Pedro Neto is also back from injury and that is, like I say, he's, he's a star boy player and he's, you know, he's back and he's going to be cause a bit of trouble. So just on that, I have gone for a Wolves win. That is why I've got, I've got Wolves to beat Chelsea 2-0. Next up we have Man United versus West Ham again. Okay? Like again, these teams are playing tonight so I'm, I'm, a, bit, I'm a, bit, a bit ahead of schedule, okay? But Man United, guys... Currently right now, ninth place, okay, and they're only three points away from West Ham, who's sitting sick. So, Man United need to win these games, okay, and they're up against two good sides, Wolves and West Ham. So, uh, and obviously, you've seen all online right now, Marcus Rashford has been seen partying, okay, and uh, that is... That is literally, guys, that says it all about Man United right now. Their dressing room is not there, okay? Their dressing, you know, they've, they've lost faith in everything at Man United, okay? And uh, I don't know, man, it's, it's, it's a weird season again for Man United. We'll see what happens. They're up against West Ham, okay? You sit in sixth place, okay? They have obviously signed Calvin Phillips on a loan deal, okay? Their new Declan Rice. Uh, but, like I say... They've lacked striker and obviously the transfer window closes tonight and they haven't signed any striker at all. So again, that is their big, big problem, a striker. But I've gone for a very interesting draw though, guys. I've, I've got Man United versus West Ham to be a two-all draw. Next up, we have first versus third. Arsenal beat Forest 2-1. Due to Man City winning their last game, Arsenal sit in third. Just by goal difference. They have won two games in the row now, so that'll give them some boost going into this game. Jesus and Saka. Jesus and Saka have played well together in the last few weeks. So can they build on that and become a massive partnership? Let's find out, man. Arsenal need this win more than Liverpool, but Liverpool beat Chelsea 4-1 midweek. They sit two points clear and they look on a mission to win Klopp his last. Premier League trophy for them. Left back, Connor Bradley looks a very good player, okay, and he will, he will provide support for Alex Robinson. But Van Dijk's comments has hinted he may leave next season if Liverpool's future is not sorted out with a new manager. But I do have this game, guys, as a Liverpool win. I've got Liverpool to beat Arsenal a massive 3 1. We are down to the final game. This week it is Brentford versus Man City. Brentford lost 3-2 to Spurs midweek. Neil Mopé has been on fine form since the return of Ivan Tony. Okay, so can they build again a partnership? We shall find out because since he's been back, he has scored two goals in two games. Green time for Brentford this season. They are 
near bottom of the league, but I think they'll be okay this season just. Up against Man City, who beat Burnley 3-1? Old friends against each other, Pep and company. That win puts Man City second in the table and only two points behind leaders Liverpool. Big boy Haaland is back and that will be huge for the second part of this season. So, I've got Man City to beat Brentford, a very comfortable 3 nil. And there we have it there guys, that is my Premier League Game Week 23 predictions. If you'd like to know if you hit that like button, subscribe if not already and oh boy, Game Week 23, we are literally 15 games left. But anyway, I'll see you guys next week for a brand new video. Thank you for watching. Good, good and good. Good night, yeah?